Now, example for a movie. Let's look at Transformers. Okay, that movie was awesome. Okay, I thought it looked cool, and you know what? When I watched it, it was fucking awesome. I didn't think anyone would complain, but considering that it was based off of cartoons, of course there would be soccer moms. Of course there had to be. Now, there was a soccer mom who watched the movie with her kid. And she complained that there was too much cussing in the movie. What? Okay, let me clear something up for all the stupid soccer moms out there who believe this as well. There were only three cuss words to be exact in that fucking movie. <laughs> uh, kind of wrong, I'm cussing too. In the movie. Shit, bitch, and damn. That was it. That's all I heard. Okay? She made it out like it was the worst thing that she could e ever possibly see with her kid. Alright? She complained about it like there was a naked woman having sex in a rated G movie. And lady, let's get something straight. That movie is PG-13. Alright? PG-13! Alright? Which means your kid should be about over 13 years old to watch it. Duh. And he even says in the rating, and I quote, Mild language involved. Jeez. That's one thing I've noticed about all these soccer moms. They never read warning labels. Or ratings. Whatsoever. It's like they don't know how to read a fucking warning label. What the fuck is wrong with them? God, I wonder what a soccer mom's mind is like when she reads a warning label. Another thing, you want to know why we have good anime shows that come to the U.S. and are bastardized into a kid's show? You guessed it, because of soccer moms. But not mostly that, it's also sometimes business companies that have agreements about these shows. Now, one good example is Dragon Ball Z. Now, that was bastardized to be a kid's show originally. But, that was a bad idea. Bad idea. You don't take an anime with blood and alcohol and, and cussing and turn it into a kid's show. It doesn't work. Or, if you're going to take out the cussing, at least take down a majority. Or, better yet, put it on a fucking adult swim. Jeez. <sighs> Jeez. Okay. Okay. Now... What did they do with that show? They removed anything related to alcohol, cussing, and the majority of the blood. That was it. Now, that wasn't a terrible move. It was still good. I still watched it. But it was still an example of soccer mom tomfoolery. But soccer mom still complained about the show because it was too violent. Lady, if you think it's too violent, shut up, turn your TV off, and don't watch it. Okay. You know Sailor Moon, right? God, I loved that show as a kid. Aside from the Power Rangers. Now, I can't remember a lot of things from that show. But when I grew up to find out that it was Americanized, the whole show was completely Americanized, I was kind of pissed. I still kind of am. Because they, they Americanized pretty much everything. I think it was Beak who... BIC, like who took the company who took the anime and bastardized it. They bastardized and Americanized everything, like all the main characters' names, like th like Ray being R A Y E and Usagi being uh, Serena, I think, and all these other shit. I I can't remember all the names, but again, and and also they would change the verse scenes to make the car going on cars going on the right side of the road and shit like that pretty much everything that had Japanese culture in it was removed that's ridiculous why the hell would they do such a thing cuz kids learning Japanese culture is bad and the Japanese was with the Nazis in World War II so Japanese is bad. We need to get rid of everything that has Japanese in the fucking show. Japanese is bad. Oh, please. If that was the reason, then go fuck yourself.
It's like they think learning stuff from other cultures is, in other countries is a bad thing. What's wrong with kids learning? <laughs> Jeez. But on the upside, the show is still good. I gotta say, I'm sorry, but that's my opinion. And the funny thing is, like, also with Ultimate Muscle, you know, in Ultimate Muscle, originally they had kanjis on their forehead, like Terry Man, uh, uh, Kid Muscle, I think it was, or, or Muscle Jr., or I forget what his name was. Like, they were, they removed the fucking kanji from his head, and this was for Kids Explain. Oh, and I'll talk about them, too, trust me. This was for Kids Explain, for removing the kanji on their forehead. The reason why they did that was because they th thought that kids would imitate the show and like write kanji on their forehead. That's, that's the dumbest excuse ever, seriously. Even today, it's still happening. It's still going on. And a company that rapes most of the good animes like One Piece, Sonic X, you guys should know this already. It's for kids. God, I just feel sick saying the name. Now, for kids is ridiculous, okay? I don't want to speak about it a lot because it's just stupid enough. But it's called for kids for a reason. It should, it's only for kids. But seriously, why did they have to take all the good animes and just rape it into a kids show? Because seriously, you can't take an anime with blood, cussing, and all this other stuff and turn it into a kid's show. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Jordan, you agree, right? Yeah. There you go. Now, let's talk about another subject. Soccer moms and video games. Now, soccer moms are not only trying to ruin TV and movies, but also video games as well. Why? One, because it's because of Jack fucking Thompson, and because they think all video games is vile. Well, not mostly just regular video games, but just violent video games, or some anything they deem violent. Why? Because they believe that it will scar the children for life and it will brain brainwash them to be house potatoes, uh, couch potatoes, excuse me, or just like go out and do stupid moves like rip someone's head off like Scorpion, or from Mortal Kombat, or, or some stupid shit, like kill somebody. Because they believe it'll tur it turns people into murderers. And I have actually read some comments that, like, that some about like uh the okay there was actually some comments like like uh like they they said no wonder why like there are people who murder and stuff it's because of video games and because of people doing violent acts and like putting on youtube like seriously no it's not and no that's not okay seriously people murder kill commit crimes because they do. We don't know why. They just have the thought and they perform it. It's not because they were brainwashed by video games or other shit, okay? Look, you, you want to know something? My first video game was for the Sega Genesis and my first get video game was Mortal Kombat. And I played that when I was six. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't do stupid shit. I didn't commit a crime. I didn't do anything. Nothing happened to me. So shut the fuck up. Really? I'm not talking to you.